Hi, I'm Herbert Seguenza, the playwright and, and one of the stars of El Henry. We're here at the Maker's Quarter silo in the East Village where we're doing this site-specific play, an adaptation of Henry IV in a post-apocalyptic San Diego. And um, we're on the set, which is a huge set right here in the middle of this abandoned lot. This is the blank canvas Sam Woodhouse faced just three weeks ago. There's no theater. This is not a theater. This is a sand lot downtown with some against some buildings with graffiti on them. So we brought in two storage containers and built a stage in the middle and rented bleachers and brought in 50, 75 chairs and we make it all up. We've transformed the whole thing into a theater. That's the challenge of Without Walls. It places people at a creative ground zero with no physical or artistic boundaries to hem them in. This is a radical, futuristic, in the barrio, post-apocalyptic adaptation of a Shakespeare story. But the story's still there and the power of the story is still there. But the language is completely different. It's Gallo. It's a mixture of Spanish and English and some made up words that didn't exist that are sort of street language. Now is the time to hit him hard and take it all for ourselves. I thought that would be interesting to put this, the English knights, the English monarchy into the streets of the barrio and see what happens. And what happened was El Henry. Henry IV is, the, the original is about loyalty, family, coming of age, a relationship between a father and son during war. So you better move that long hair from your eyes and ears and listen carefully. And I thought these were the same traits and concepts that Chicano gangs live by and die for as well. You know, the same honor, basically. Por vida y por sangre. The adaptation that, that Herbert's uh, created and that Sam has directed is akin to a graphic novel. The end of Hank and his familia commences today. Kinan Valdez plays El Bravo, the character inspired by Shakespeare's Hotspur. But I think even the environment that we're performing in here pays tribute to early Shakespeare. The outdoor productions are, are captured here. This particular space helps us as performers imagine the world. The idea of a desolate landscape when you're running through this space and having dirt fly everywhere, it actually heightens the drama but makes our work easier. And in a sense, the audiences as well. It doesn't take much to imagine you're in a dystopian future when you're sitting in an environment where you can't tell where the stage ends and the city begins. So people just coming to this neighborhood start feeling different, you know, but, and once they come in here, they don't distinguish between reality and fantasy. For instance, you hear the sirens passing by, motorcycles, um, people screaming, so in that sense they become a part of the performance as well. Lakeen Valdez plays the title character in the world premiere of El Henry. Costumes help define his evolution from petty thief to heir apparent to the throne. So we are in the costume trailer now. It's the storage container that is stage left. If you come to see the show, it has all of the costumes hiding in it. The costumes are really exciting to, to put on every night. This is one of the pieces of sporting gear that's being used in the production. These uh, shoulder pads are the armor for El Bravo. The costume is, I would say, 50% of the performance. Every time I slap on those uh, shoulder pads, the football pads, the character instantly comes to life. So that the character moves is based on that costume. I mean, primarily my job is to help tell the story. So there's a huge amount of information that comes to the eye through costumes. Like the status of the characters. There are the statuses within the barrios of the people who are kind of in charge of the street gangs, but then there's also the Hispanic ruling class and how their clothes are different. Costumes help define the warring factions in El Henry, and that's important in a play about power and choosing sides. Henry the Fourth is part of Shakespeare's plays about who's going to rule England as the future of the country. Who's going to be in charge? It's like what's happening in Iraq right now. So uh, the, the question of who runs the country, I think, is as relevant today as, in, as any time. The irony is that war and, 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 and violence and, and, and honor and all these themes are still, are still are human themes. And that's what, you know, Shakespeare is a very humanistic playwright. I mean, he writes about the human condition, and, and, and this play is still about the human condition. Modern audiences may not relate to English kings, but El Henry makes them feel the immediacy of Shakespeare's themes. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.